St. Paul writes of the prophetess Anna, who with St. Simeon greeted the Holy Family at the temple. She never left the temple, but worshipped night and day with fasting and prayer. Imagine a college graduate who gets called back for a full day of interviews at his dream company. When they take him out to lunch, he does not order filet mignon, a big chocolatey dessert, and two tall beers to wash it all down. To say the least, he would not impress the people who interview him in the afternoon. He eats moderately, perhaps a healthy salad, water with lemon, ending the meal with a cup of coffee. He wishes to be alert and at his best until the end of the day. The bottom line is that we cannot pray well on a full stomach. Nor can we pray well when our lives are filled with unnecessary distractions and we lose focus. How we live our lives affects our relationship with God. Strive to live a simple life. Resist becoming attached to things, activities, and people who might distract us. Eat healthy foods moderately without becoming obsessed over details. Feast when the church observes feasts, and fast according to our abilities when the church observes fasts. We can also do personal fasts in secret in order to pray more intensely. The church encourages us to follow this ascetical lifestyle so that with St. Simeon and St. Anna, we too can say at the end of our days, Lord, now let your servant depart in peace for my eyes have seen your salvation. And we can say this because we have truly encountered Christ in prayer. <laughs>